Get my six. What's up, everybody? See these tie straps on uh, these two trees here? These are two big walnut trees. That's where I, I set up my hammock. I just took it inside. I just woke up from a, about a one hour long nap. It's a beautiful afternoon. So I woke up from a nap, not willingly. It wasn't the cow's fault, it was the freaking deer's fault. So uh, I had some coffee and I'm just gonna do a walk around up here. Uh, I was not gonna make a video today, honestly and sincere, sincerely. Um, but I'm, I'm doing it because I wanted to tell you guys you're missing a golden opportunity. Many of you are missing a golden opportunity. Uh, the deer thing, it's like a freaking deer while I was laying in that hammock. I mean, I was like dead asleep. Starts snorting like right there, like literally like within a foot from the hammock. And I'm thinking this deer was out here probably sniffing around, smelling me while I was in the hammock. So I never even saw the deer. I made a four-wheeler trail through here the other day. My meadow is reforesting to such a degree that I can cut some four-wheeler trails through it. So one of the things I like to do after I uh, have my nap, my afternoon nap, uh, have my coffee, afternoon coffee, when the weather's nice, like it is now, this fall-like weather, even though we're like a week away from falls, I like to come out and go sounding on my property. See, look, see my feet? I keep a trail mowed down, meticulously mowed down and cleared all the way around the entire six acres and three lapses a mile. And, and, and I, li I like the fact that I can walk on it barefooted and not have to worry about getting any sort of shards of glass or sticks or anything in my feet because this is an age old practice. A lot of people believe that uh, when we go sounding some of the negative energy or toxic energy that builds up in our body is actually absorbed back into the ground, into the soil. Uh, it's crazy. I made a video about this a few years ago and so many people were so upset that I showed my feet and they were complaining about how they never wanted to see my feet again. It's something I just haven't talked about much since then. I talk about it off and on. Um, but I would say those folks needed to, to do one of two things. I see a deer. It's going running through there, through the woods. Oh, well, you probably can't see it from here. I don't know if that's the one that woke me up or not, but uh, those folks need to do one of two things, either go sounding or watch Counselor's Couch 101, the new and newly named channel from our buddy Jim Stump, one of the viewers here on this channel. And then there's a the house. <sighs> I walk fast. I need to slow down and catch my breath. I'm in shape. I'm fit. I work out every day. But I walk too fast sometimes. We already came all that distance. That's why I'm breathing a little hard. But uh, Jim has has offered to kind of help me out. You know, I was getting all these emails on the channel uh, to the crazylakeatmail.com from folks who wanted advice, needed advice on relationships, depression, anxiety, and all this stuff. And so I talked to Jim about it, and he set up that channel. And a few people have contacted him, but I don't think nearly enough. And here's the golden opportunity you're missing. Jim is a licensed clinical social worker, I believe, LSCW, I believe that's probably his title, in the state of California. And he set up an email address on his channel where you can contact him or you can leave a comment in the comment section of the videos he's making. So, you know, if you don't use your real name as your user ID on YouTube, which a lot of people don't, and it's not just because they're vertically challenged individuals who live under bridges and want to take their daily angst out on strangers on social media. You know, after coming home from a hard day at work, not really being happy with their lives, they come home and just argue with strangers and insult content creators they'll never meet. I'm not talking about that. A lot of you folks do it because um, you're teachers or you're nurses or you're some other sort of professional and you can't let people know you're watching videos about Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Paranormal, Supernatural and some crazy guy that probably needs therapy himself and leaving, uh, you know, comments. So you got to call yourself Granny G Double D or whatever it is. Um, but listen, there have been times I've needed someone to talk to and you know what I do? I go talk to someone. There's no shame and getting help if you need it. And sometimes we just need a sounding board. And sometimes it's merely occasional for a little problem that's bugging us. And we just need kind of like 
uh, maybe a bit of advice or a boost of our confidence. That's what Jim's here to do, and he can do it professionally. He's qualified to do it. He's trained to do it. He's been doing it for many years. And here's the best part. You don't have to pay him. You don't have to provide your insurance information. Uh, you know, if you're covered through the VA, you don't have to jump through all the hoops at the VA. This is one of this is one of the things that gets me with the VA because they take care of me. Should I should I ask them to or need them to or want them to? But usually, what I do, we gotta make sure to pay attention to this, huh? Is got to stay on the trails. Got to make sure you know if anything crazy happens, these security cameras I got set up all over this property capture it. I mean, people talk to me like I'm crazy. Do doesn't everybody who's got property have security cameras all over their property in case some creeper tries making his, her, it, or their way up the freaking hill and trips and freaking rolls down it? I mean, don't you want to have a camera up there for times like that? I do. So anyway, thing about the VA, they they say, okay, like for instance, I tried to get outside help through an outside program. This really... I'm going to tell you the story. I have, I've never told this story on this channel. This happened in about January. I had something that was bothering me. I had an issue that was bothering me, and I just felt like I needed to get some outside help with it. Uh, my, I've got a wonderful, supportive wife. I've got wonderful, supportive friends. But I was dealing with a very unique issue that my wife and none of my friends have ever dealt with. And uh, I, I just needed to go see somebody. So I found somebody in Charlottesville. Where, you know, I, I don't live in Charlottesville, I live in the county. It's a half an hour's drive into town, but that's the closest big town to me. Um, and so, uh, let's see, I was going to say that the, the first visit was free, but it wasn't because they charged me because I ended up not taking their group. Well, it was like a group therapy type thing, and I ended up not doing it. Here's why. Um, I totally wanted to, and it totally fit my needs, and... I really hit it off with the woman that I did like this intake interview with. But here's the deal. We got to the part where, you know, it's time to pay. And they said, how will you be paying? Who's your insurance provider? And I said, I'm covered by the VA. I'm a certain percentage uh, disabled by the VA. And so, therefore, they cover, like, pretty much everything. If it's connected to my service, they cover it all. And I, I said, but here's the deal. I said, uh, I'm fortunate I, I, I've worked my ass off to overcome these, what they call disabilities. I don't. I call them challenges. Uh, and I've been able to do well for myself, quite well for myself, in the, as a civilian in the working world. I can afford to self-pay, and I will. Um, this group class was not, because I asked about the price, and she told me the price, and I was like, that's nothing. I can pay that. Well, uh, there was somebody in their billing department who would not let me enroll in this class and i think they met like once a week for like an hour about half a dozen people in the group um she wouldn't let me enroll because what it was is, is okay i didn't didn't have insurance because the va covers me and she said well you got to contact the va so we can build a va and i said look that's a pain in the ass i mean big time and it's going to take six months to get this to happen I'm having this issue now. I want to deal with this issue now. So bill me. And she's like, oh, honey, but do you know how much it costs for blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, um, yeah, I know, and I can afford to pay that. I'm not destitute. I have the financial resources to pay for this through my own means. I'm more concerned with the care I need than I am who's paying for it because I can afford to pay for it anyway. Well, this, this went against her worldviews, I guess. She felt that as a veteran, um, the VA should pay for it. And we were going to, she was not going to sign me up until I had the VA contact them. Well, guess what? I contact the VA. Same old, same old. I have to come see them, and then they've got to have a similar program to this uh, in which I attend because that's what they'll cover. And if they had this similar type program, which they did, then they were not going to pay for me to go to this other one. So, and I knew that that was going to be the answer. I've dealt with the VA enough to know I prefer just not to deal with them. And again, fortunately and thankfully to the hundreds of thousands of you, and sometimes millions a month, usually more than a million a month, but always, yeah, always more than a million, but sometimes several millions a month who watch my videos, 
who buy my books uh, on Etsy or Amazon, who support me and supporting myself, I'm able to support myself. And, and so I just don't, if I'm sick, I go get the care I need and I pay for it. Uh, she wouldn't let me. This woman in billing blocked me from being able to go to this group that I really wanted to go to, and it was all because of a billing issue. Now, what's this have to do with Jim Stump? You're like, what's this have to do with Jim Stump and Counselor's Couch 101? It has everything to do with Jim Stump and Counselor's Couch 101. Listen, I know a lot of you who watch my videos are not as financially fortunate as I am. I know it's a struggle for you to make ends meet. You've told me in the comments section that as much as you'd love to buy my books, you don't have the extra 20 bucks to spare on a book. That's why every October in the years in which I write an October Nights uh, collection, which this year's one of them, I come out here and I read those stories on this channel for those of you who can't afford to buy the books. Now, I'd love it if every daggone one of you bought the book because that's even more money for me and it's not because I'm coming from a sense of greed. It's because I work hard at what I do and I'm coming from a sense of when I need health care or my family needs health care or we need food or we need to pay our bills, I like having the money to be able to do it. But I want you to hear my stories too, so I read them to you for free here on the channel. So if you fall into that group, you can't even afford a book. Good God. Let's say you're depressed. You just don't feel like getting out of bed most days. You do get out of bed and you look outside and you're like, man... That's a mean old nasty world out there. It looks like a dark place to me and I don't want to go into it. And you stay in your house all day and you isolate and you don't talk to anybody. You are missing a golden opportunity by not watching Jim Stump's channel, Counselor's Couch 101, uh, and contacting Jim. He's not going to charge you. He's not going to require that you submit insurance forms for insurance you probably don't have. There's a lot of you on this channel that, like myself, are veterans. You know the hassle and the headache the VA is. He's not going to make you jump through those hoops. You can send him an email and you can say, Jim, you know, I'm relatively healthy. I've got a loving family. There's just a lot of days I feel down in the dumps and I don't know why. He's going to help you. He's going to talk to you about that. So, I don't see that deer that woke me up unless it was that one that was running through the woods. There's a the house again. Doing a big old loop here. Um, I'm going to put his most recent video at the end of this video here again. And uh, I watched it and I learned a history lesson on one of my favorite words that, you know, a lot of you have already unsubscribed and you sent, I didn't read them. Mary told me about the nasty emails you sent because I've told you in October when I read my stories from October Nights Part 2, 31 more tales for the Halloween season, I'm not hyphenating the curse words i'm actually going to say them and there's several f-bombs in there and so you, you, whatever i never saw the emails but Erie told me a lot of people are upset about that i learned the actual history of that word on jim stump's most recent video it's a video called let us speak of intimacy and i learned a lot more than just the history of that word i learned about you know a lot of you out there are widows a lot of you are widowers and there might be people in your life who guilt shame you because you are still in love with the love of your life who is no longer among the living because they've passed on. Jim Stump talks about that in his most recent video, Let Us Speak of Intimacy. I'm telling you, if you are a widow or a widower, and whether you've gotten with someone else or not, and especially if not, since the love of your life has passed on, you need to hear this video. I guarantee you it's going to make you feel better than you felt in a long time. And just to finish up the story I was getting at because I finished my loop. I'm back here. Walked around the upper meadow, um, which is, like I said, becoming a forest. Uh, I got the help I needed. I got it through different means. Um, I never went and complained about that gatekeeper who was uh, used her worldviews and her, I guess, mentality of entitlement. Listen, I enlisted in the Army. No one forced me to do it. No one owes me anything. Uh, if I have issues as a result of my time in service, that's because of choices I made to be there in the first place. When I need help, I'm getting it. And just like the soldier I was trained to be, if we can't go over or around or under, we go through. So she put up a barricade for me getting help there. But I did get it elsewhere. And there's nothing weak about getting the help that we need when we need it. 
And it's allowed me since January to have one, probably the best year in my adult life since I was in the military. Came home from Iraq, served there in 2008, 2009, got out of the Army Hospital in the middle of 2010. Uh, what is this, 2022? This is the best year I've had in the last 12 years. Mentally, physically, spiritually. Lost um, 30 pounds in the last year and a half. Gotten back into the best physical condition I've been in since I was in my early 30s. I'm not very far away from turning 50. So guys, life is a beautiful thing. The world is a beautiful place. It makes no sense to suffer and it especially makes no sense to suffer in silence. When you've got a man on YouTube, a man by the name of Jim Stump, licensed clinical social worker, California, who's willing to listen to you and communicate with you for free without the barriers of insurance, VA, etc. You're really missing a golden opportunity. Stop missing it. Go check out his channel now. It should be popping up here somewhere. Shoot him an email. See you next time for more.